We got three R's we're going to talk about today. We got to learn to reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Hi, I'm Logan from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Fest, and we're here interviewing Jack Johnson. And I was wondering, um, Kids uh, seem to be a big part of your life. Uh, what, um, whether it's with your Kakua Foundation or in your in your music, there's a lot of uh, of your music is about kids. So I was wondering, um, uh, why do you think it is so important to educate kids? Good question. Um, you ever heard the saying, "Can't teach an old dog new tricks"? That guy's yelling over. There. But uh, well, sometimes. With all the all the uh, the ideas that we're we're trying to get out there, it's we find it's more effective to work with kids, and a lot of times they're just more fun to work with. We come to high schools or elementary schools, and they're more willing to sing along and kind of get into it or do projects. You know, us adults are so boring. By the time you get to our age, you got work and all this different stuff getting in the way, and so it's uh, hard to find the time to change the way that you are. But if we teach the kids about recycling, they bring it home, and I'll meet somebody at the store, and they said you got my kid recycling and they won't let us, you know, we have to recycle in the house all the time, this and that. And so a lot of times we find if we can work with kids who are so willing to change the world because it's their world that's coming up, your world is coming up. I shouldn't talk to you in third person. Uh, you guys take it home and, and, uh, and teach your parents. All us adults have a lot to learn from the kids. So I work with the kids and find out what their ideas on things. And a lot of times we try to inspire them to come up with the ideas. If you go to the market to buy some juice, you gotta bring your own bags and you learn to reduce your waste. You gotta learn to reduce. Um, what is the primary purpose of the Kakua Foundation? The primary focus of the Kakua Hawaii Foundation, we call it, is uh, to try to empower students to become stewards of the earth. So to try to make sure that the kids uh, want to take care of the land. We work mostly in Hawaii because I grew up there, but now we're trying to, on this next tour we're doing, we're going to take it around to every town we go to. So we're going to work with nonprofit groups uh, that are doing community work in every town that we're going to, and they're going to be coming to the shows. We're going to donate money and try to work with kids in every town we go to. And if your brother or your sister's got some cool clothes, you can try them on before you buy some more of those reunions. we got to learn to reuse. Um, what inspired you to start the Kakua Foundation? Uh, probably why we started the foundation, to be totally honest, was because of my wife. And my wife is a teacher. Um, she was for five years at Dos Pueblos High School in Santa Barbara. We both went to school in Santa Barbara here at college, uh, UCSB. And so we moved back to Hawaii. I stole her and took her home. And when we got back there, she really wanted to keep working with education. and so. We started the Kukua Hawaii Foundation so she could work with all the different schools in Hawaii and to, and to get them going. And if the first two arms don't work out, and if you gotta make some trash, well, don't throw it out. Recycle. We gotta learn to recycle. We gotta Does working with the con <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Does working with the Kukua Foundation help you or, like, influence your music in any way? Yeah, that's a really good question. It's, uh... It's funny how it is because because of the music and the popularity that we gained, uh, we had the chance to be able to start going to the schools and talking to the kids and and bringing these ideas. You know, just trying to bring uh, either recycling programs to the schools or what we're doing now is a lot of the uh, trying to get locally grown food in Hawaii into the school cafeterias and things like that. So the music brought me to the schools, and then when I go there and play with all the the kids, a lot of times we go to elementary schools, and the kids are so inspiring to be with and to play music for. It makes me want to go home and write songs after being there and feeling the purity of music again. And so it's actually inspired me to keep writing songs after going to the schools. So it's kind of a, a cyclical thing that keeps feeding off itself. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a really good interview. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh, and hope you're not alone.